All day, rival groups of protesters gathered outside the parliament, which has now been closed and is being guarded by the army. On one side, supporters of President Saeed and his decision to dismiss the government. On the other, supporters of Enada, the largest party in parliament, who accused the president of launching a coup. The decisions by President Kai Said are not correct against the constitution and the reality. They bring us back to 1954. The scene of the parliament closed with tanks is disgraceful. But months of discontent with the government's handling of COVID-19 and the country's dire economic situation led to huge protests on Sunday. In the evening, President Said dismissed Prime Minister Hichem Michichi and his government. After consultations took place with the Prime Minister and the Speaker of the Parliament, Article 80 of the Constitution was implemented with a number of decisions. The first decision is to freeze all the powers of Parliament. The Constitution does not allow its dissolution, but it does not stand in the way of freezing all of its activities. There were wild celebrations by his supporters, which the President later joined. He says he has the army's support and will appoint a new Prime Minister and new ministers of defence and justice. Overnight, Rashid Ghanoucci, the Speaker of the Parliament and veteran leader of the Inada Party, made a show of trying to get into the building, insisting the president is acting outside the constitution. Today, we were surprised by decisions that not only surprised Anahta, but also surprised the Tunisian people and the world, in a country that is proud of being the first Arab democracy. The dismissed Prime Minister Hichem Mechichi is reportedly at his home. He and President Saeed have been in bitter conflict over the pandemic for months. There has been a surge in cases. Last week, the health minister was sacked after a chaotic vaccine rollout. The country's hospitals are at breaking point. This is the latest dramatic twist in a tumultuous decade in Tunisian politics. Launchpad of the Arab Spring, the country went from the autocracy of President Zine El Abedin Ben Ali to a fledgling parliamentary democracy. But there are deep ideological differences over the country's future. Add to that crippling economic failure and high unemployment, and the result has been simmering discontent. For many, COVID-19 was the final straw. Now, Tunisia's fragile democracy is facing its sternest test. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.